2019, this decade ending year, was a great one for the North Carolina Transportation Museum. With more history, bigger events, record breaking attendance, live music, and lots of smiling faces. So let's take a look at all that 2019 had to offer you. From our events to railroad, automotive, and aviation restorations and additions, special happenings, and much more. The museum that moves you keeps rolling along. The year started with planning and preparation for a big anniversary, celebrating one of the North Carolina Transportation Museum's long-term exhibits. Now the museum got an early start on school group visitation with the Tuskegee Airmen Tribute in February and March in 2019. Now that was a one-time event. But annually, each spring, the museum does host special programs geared towards school group visitation. And collectively, thousands of students experience the museum and those special programs on these days. And the North Carolina Transportation Museum got summer off to an early start, but in a big way. With their normal location unavailable, the Salisbury Symphony performed their annual Pops at the Post concert here in the back shop. It was the building's largest crowd since opening to the public in 2017. And it all worked in conjunction with the North Carolina Department of Natural and Cultural Resources promotion called Come Here in C. It featured live music at historic sites across the state. And that wasn't the only good music that was heard during the museum's summertime events.
Speaking of the Antique Automobile Club of America, 2019 was the first year that group held special displays in the back shop free with your regular admission. The first showing was muscle cars. Currently, we have true sports cars on display. Now, as busy as the museum was during the first half of 2019, fall may have topped them all. The museum held its two biggest events, celebrated the return of an iconic steam locomotive, held three big scouting weekends, and one very big Halloween celebration. A nearly exhausting year of events indeed. Now, our regular visitors in 2019 also had more to see. Our great staff and volunteers gave us restorations and renovations that added to our exhibits and to the on-site train ride. Some exciting automotive additions to the museum's collection this year include this 1928 Chevy Depot Hack. This and a Ford Model T touring car will both serve the museum as program vehicles, meaning the public can get up close and personal, touching the cars and even riding in them during special events. As a 60-acre site with unique structures, the museum is an ideal location for large gatherings. Occasionally, even Hollywood comes calling. Some great news came for the future of the North Carolina Transportation Museum with the announcement this year of a grant from the National Park Service that will allow for the restoration of the Southern Number 1211, or the Jim Crow car. A longtime member of the museum's collection, this Jim Crow car will be fully restored and ready for exhibits to tell the story of the Jim Crow era 
separating white and black passengers as they traveled along the rails. It's an important story to tell, and work will be underway to make that happen in 2020. There you have it, 2019, another banner year at the North Carolina Transportation Museum. Our special thanks to those who sponsored and partnered with the museum over the past year. There are more of you than ever, and we couldn't do it without you. A special thanks also to our museum volunteers who all year long give of their time and talents. And thanks also to all of those who visited during 2019. Our promise to you is that we'll keep that momentum going in the new year right here at the museum that moves you.